this video I am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables and now I am going to prove that u is a harmonic function and also I am going to find out the analytic function. So when we say that the given function is harmonic when it satisfies the Laplace equation. So what is the Laplace equation? Dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. And what is given? So u is given as x square minus y square minus 2xy minus 2x plus 3y. And now I have to make a derivative with respect to x. If I make a derivative with respect to x, for x it is 2x and for y it is 0. For again x it is 1 that is 2y and this is 2. And the double derivative with respect to x is 2 and for constant this is 0. And see here, and let me tell you, now I have to make a derivative with respect to y. With respect to y, x will be 0 and this will be minus 2y. And for y it is 1, this is 2x and for x it is 0 and here for y this is 1. And what remains? 3. And u, y, y value will be, for y it is 1, this value is 0, for x it is 0 and constant this is 0. So this value u, x, x is equal to 2 and here u, y, y is equal to minus 2. And now we have to find out the Laplace equation. So, what is Laplace equation? Laplace equation is nothing but dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square. So, which is equal to double derivative of u. So, this value is 2 and this value is minus 2 which is equal to 0. Therefore, we got dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. Therefore, u x comma y is a harmonic function is harmonic so next again we have to find the analytic function f of z now i am going to use so i am going to use which method milnes thompson method so according to the milnes thompson method so this is milnes thompson method so according to the milnes thompson method we have f of z is equal to See here, f of z is equal to u plus iv. If I make a derivative with respect to x, then see, f dash of z is equal to, this is dou u by dou x plus i times of, this is dou v by dou x. And now we have the CR equations. What are those CR equations? CR equations are nothing but dou u by dou x is equal to, this is dou v by dou y. And again, dou u by dou y is equal to this is minus dou v by dou x. So here these are the CR equations. Using the CR equations I will replace dou, y, dou v by dou x as minus dou u by dou y. See here I am using CR equations in order to transform v as u because v is u is given. From the question we have all the v values that is uh, ux, ua, everything. So now f dash of z becomes so f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x in place of dou v by dou x i am writing i minus dou u by dou y so now we have all the values ready here what is uh, ux u with respect to x value is nothing but f dash of x is equal to this is f dash of x is equal to dou u by dou x is nothing but this is 2x minus 2y minus 2 minus i times of dou u by dou y so this is dou u by dou y that is minus 2y minus 2x plus 3. Now according to the milnes thompson method I have to replace. Now replace x by z and again y by 0. So if I transform this one then see what happens f, f dash of z value is equal to this is 2z. So in place of x I am writing z. In place of y this is 0. And this is minus 2 minus i times of in place of y 0. And this is minus uh, 2z plus 3. So if I integrate this one. So if I integrate the whole thing. So integral f dash of z dz is equal to this is integral. This is 2z minus 2 minus i times of this is minus 2z plus 3 into dz. Now after integration so f of z value will become so f of z value will become 2 into this is z square by 2 minus 2 minus i times of this is minus 2 again z square by 2 and see here this is z square by 2 2 it is a constant integral dz is nothing but z and here also plus 3 times of integral dz is nothing but z plus some c and see now i can cancel this 2 
then f of z value is equal to this is z square minus 2z minus i times of minus z square plus 3z plus c. Now we have a value that z is equal to x plus i y. If I substitute this one f of z is equal to this is x plus i y whole square minus 2 times of this is x plus i y minus i times of this is x plus i y whole square plus 3 times of this is x plus i y plus c and c f of z is equal to f of z is equal to if i expand this this is a square minus b square plus this is 2 a b and this is 2 x minus 2 y i and this is minus i times of if i expand this one so this will be a square minus b square and this will be 2 x y i and see this is uh, 3x plus this is 3yi plus c and see here this will be f of z value is equal to this is x square minus y square plus 2xyi minus 2x minus 2yi if i multiply with minus minus into minus plus that is x square minus y square i and again i into i this is minus minus 1 into minus this is plus that is 2xy and if i multiply with i so this is minus 3xi i into i is i square minus 1 minus into minus plus this is 3y plus c now see the real parts are x square minus y square and here it is 2x and here this is 2xy and this is 2 this is See here, this is uh, 3y and coming to the imaginary part, this is 2xy minus 2y, 3xy and see this one. So now if I take common, then f of z value is equal to, so f of z is equal to, so this is x square minus y square minus 2x and uh, this is uh, plus 2xy plus 3y plus i times of see here plus i times of this will be 2xy plus x square minus y square and this one minus 3x see here 2xy so here this is minus 2y also this is minus 2y plus c so now we have f of z is equal to so we know that f of z value is nothing but this is u plus iv therefore u at x comma y is equal to the real part here as x square minus y square see i am writing in order x plus 2xy minus 2x plus 3y and the imaginary part is equal to see here this will be if i write here this will be x square minus y square plus 2xy this is minus 2y and this is minus 3x plus c so this is minus 3x and this is the process according to the millis thompson method v is equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy minus 3x minus 2y plus c and f of z is the whole thing so this is the analytic function this is the real part and this is the imaginary part and see and be very very careful that it is minus the symbol here is minus and see and let me explain you once again so the question is also very clear so here u is given and we have to show that it is harmonic and we have to find the analytic function for showing NL, uh, it is harmonic so we have to show that double derivative of uh, u with respect to x plus double derivative of uh, u with respect to y should be equal to zero and it is very clear that u is harmonic and according to the millis thompson method we have f of z is equal to u plus iv so if you derive or make a derivative with respect to x on throughout the equation so do u by do x plus do v by do x we don't have v values so only u is given so we have to transform v into u so using cr equations do v by do x is equal to minus do u by do y so all the values are very clear and we have to replace x by z and y by 0 and see here if we integrate on both sides we will be getting the analytic function f of z so this is the analytic function and this is u as well as this is v and this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching if you really like you know what to do please practice and pass it on to your friends